Welcome to the board of the Bantu. When I went to South Africa, something amazing happened to me. And I'm not talking about it a lot, but I don't want to give the dark sides that constantly attack me fodder to use against my ass. But uh, something happened to me. I landed on the earth of my ancestor's belly button, which makes it my belly button, in Cape Town. And I learned that everything I knew was a lie. Everything I'd planned for, everything I'd worked hard for, not meaning in the metaphysical world, but in the physical world, was a lie. And that I was actually sitting on a lie in South Africa itself. And that lie was the worst one of all. Thank God it had nothing to do with my ancestors. However, I died in South Africa and I was reborn in South Africa, which I believe was the whole idea. But the death was so excruciating. It was like waking up one day and discovering that the whole world is a goddamn lie. And your life is caught up in those lies and that you made decisions based on lies. So obviously, nothing was going to come true. Nothing. Because it was a lie. If there's one thing my ancestors taught me, it was that anything built on a lie never stands. And so my whole time in South Africa, I was searching for the truth, you know? <laughs> I, was, I was rabid about the truth. Like, okay, what is the truth? What is the truth? And even when I found the truth, it was so heartbreaking. The one thing that I, I can share with you that my ancestors said to me was, we really thought South Africa was going, to, we knew it was going to be an eye opener because you're standing on the belly button. We knew that you, revelations would happen because you're standing on the belly button, but we did not realize just how hard it was going to be for you. Had we known how hard your soul was going to take this, we would have waited a couple of years more before telling you it was time to go and stand on the belly button. So now I have a, I have a thing about lies. Okay? <laughs> I have a thing about lies. And I, I get triggered. I, I really, really get triggered when the world is trying to lie to me. I get really triggered. That is what i call part of my post-traumatic stress okay and rihanna she lied which is really weird because before she made her 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 baby announcement a month ago in cape town my I kept my ancestors kept bugging me about Rihanna because her energy kept coming in my direction. Usually that means there's a story there. Her energy kept coming in my direction, and my ancestors said, Do a Rihanna reading. Do a Rihanna reading. So eventually I just sat down and I just did it. But now I really believe that I um I didn't do due diligence because I believed that she would never ever do anything that's crazy now you're asking me what does this have to do with you absolutely nothing okay it has absolutely nothing to do with you but when you're a metaphysical scientist as other metaphysical scientists understand when you get a puzzle you know and you are sitting there on this puzzle you know yeah you're not gonna let go you're like a dog with a bone right but what makes this puzzle even more interesting is that i was bothered by heavenly energies about rihanna okay for a whole month in south africa which means that what is going on here is more important for the world than just for rihanna
So I'm going to do her whole life if I can. I'm going to start from our baby, 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 baby to where we are right now if I can. Okay, where we are right now with her saying she's having a baby with ASAP. Okay, we're going to do a reading and then, you know, we're going to check out the future. Not because I'm that fascinated about Rihanna, but because there's something significant that she did here that's significant to the world. Okay, and I may be wrong. She may not have lied. Okay, so in my pajamas, in my jammies with just lipstick on and this very pretty wig, <laughs> I, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna work out the puzzle that is Rihanna. I'm, I'm totally not that interested, but there is something here that God wants us to learn. And then, you know, I'm driven by my post traumatic stress of how we can be lied to so much that we believe it. And when we believe it, we make decisions and choices based on lies. Then we're not leading our true lives. So much damage is done. So much harm is done this way. Checks and balances. Checks and balances. Yeah. There are checks and balances. What, what, what does the modern world have for checks and balances? They have the media and they have bloggers. But when the bloggers themselves lie. Okay. So. We're going to use the Bantu ways. The Bantu ways of getting truth, truth not from the ground, but from the metaphysical. And you may not believe it. And that is your right. Okay, you may not be Bantu. Because <laughs> all Bantu believe it. But we get our truth from the metaphysical, from the souls themselves, and from God himself. So that we don't build prisons. The Bantu never had prisons for that reason. So Rihanna is in court today and we are going to try as much as we can to get to what it is that the heavenly energies thought was so important about her story that I had to, that my ancestors had to bug me about her and this whole baby. Congratulations to Rihanna for the coming of her child. Okay, shall we begin? Okay, I always forget to market myself and I've noticed that other metaphysical scientists are smarter than my ass. They just record it and then they just play it in every video. And that is what I am going to do. So, if you don't know, I sell oils and you consecration oils and you can gain access to them you can have access to them actually have one of your own via my website www.isabelmitten.ca i also give readings and i'm about talking to your soul so i'm in your metaphysicality i also sometimes mentor one or two people okay that is a request you have to make to me personally and i sell spells and rituals okay so if you go on www.isabelmitten.ca you're gonna find everything you need about the bantu metaphysicality i will continue to add on to it as we go on and on and on therefore i will be making these little infomercials longer and longer I keep hearing these designer babies are dangerous to society. I've been hearing it for, since I saw her pregnancy photo, I've been hearing that and I feel it's only fair to share it with you. These designer babies are dangerous to society. Okay. So anyway, Welcome to the board of the Bantu, and I'm taking my work very seriously today. I crawled out of my sick bed to sit here and to do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna blow. And I'm gonna call Ria. Rihanna. Rihanna. 
Rihanna comes into the plate with three kids and she shows me two miscarriages. She's very dramatic by um, literally being pregnant and then out goes one, then being pregnant again, then out goes one. So three kids stand, three, three souls, three dead souls that walk, walk with her. They stand for her three abortions. And then the two that uh, bailed out of the whole situation, they stand for her miscarriages. And she said, sits down and she looks at me and she says, you're here to question my motherhood. And I'm like, yes, I am. I am, bitch. I am. I'm about that life okay <laughs> and she says you can see how much i suffered to get to where i am and i'm saying okay i can see it three abortions two miscarriages gotcha she says the public won't understand okay the public won't understand i hear you and why would the public not understand they just don't understand how i've decided to become a mother they won't understand i will be tortured for it because i'm a black woman if it was another race like um there's an indian woman she's showing me her face i i'm not a fan of that indian woman who married that pop star person i'm not a fan so i don't know her name what is her name priya is it priya i think so I, i'm not a fan she's showing me her and she's saying how Priya got her baby was disgusting. She literally hired those poor Indian women in those Indian hospitals to make that baby and give it to her because she didn't want to get pregnant. And so I, and nobody's judging her for that because she got herself a white man and she is, you know, Indian and Indians protect, but we don't protect our own. And besides that, I paid a lot of money. I made another a millionaire just so that she could carry my child. This is the soul of Rihanna saying this, okay? So that she could carry my child. I I paid her lots of money. A black woman too. You're you're big on saying you you like to put food on black women's tables. Well, I I put real food on black women's tables and I desperately wanted a baby the depression of the last two years over this situation here no I wasn't gonna go through that again I just wasn't What did you do? He says, you know what I did? No, I don't. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Okay. I'm asking. What did you do to the point that the veil would say designer babies are dangerous to society? They lack a little bit of humanity. So says Rihanna. They lack a little bit of humanity. And in large doses, that can be dangerous. But people are dangerous anyway. We're all animals eating each other every day. You should know. Yes, I do. The thing is, though, I have had Rihanna saw in the plates many times. A beautiful light saw. I've had her many, many times. And as she's sitting in this plate she is literally dark it's not the darkness of throwing evil it's it's the darkness of depression and pain and hatred towards the world and destruction self-destruction and others destruction that's it so this baby thing has been um has literally destroyed her from the inside out, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Right. So, something just popped up 
in my studio it was perfectly fine before and now it has like popped up right out from under the carpet that's why i'm looking all puzzled staring at it okay so where are we with this story rihanna 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 What did you do? A friend is carrying her baby. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scatter the meat. Show me your life, Diana. Show me your life. Show me your life, Diana. Okay. I decided to scatter them because they keep me on target. They keep me on track. Okay, so. Hi. So this is Rihanna. Okay. Her trajectory is backwards instead of forward. That's very interesting, right? It's literally backwards instead of forward. And there is uh, money. She's losing a lot of money. She says yes. She is losing a hell of a lot of money. It is going to someone else. Someone is taking her money and she's aware of it. You know, now we're lost because I threw shells and I was looking to see what the message was. She's losing so much money, you guys. So much, almost half her wealth. She says coronavirus. So this is Rihanna. Okay, and this is the present. And she's stuck in the past. Right? She's like stuck in the past. And she is dragging her further future towards her what are you doing she's breaking free or she's being cut loose the people with the money are cutting her loose she says she's breaking her contracts because she she hasn't been honoring them and she hasn't been honoring them due to the depression of wanting to be a mother, right? But anyway, before I threw these shells, she's saying that her surrogate is a friend, someone she trusts, someone she's known for a long time, a woman in her 40s. She's also biracial. Right? She's, uh, yeah, she says she's also biracial. I don't know what that means. That's what I got. Okay. <laughs> I got she's also biracial and I said it. Okay. I don't know what that means. So anyway, um, I mean, I know what biracial means, but I don't know about the also. Okay. So anyway, she, she's losing a lot of money because she's not singing. She's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. She's like gone off the rails because she says, because I need a baby. I want a baby. After I have my baby, I will get back to doing everything that I was doing before. I will actually get back to being creative. I was so lonely, so lonely, and I'm still so lonely. Do you see that I'm on my own? This is true. Do you, do you all see the space around Rihanna? Empty. She says, I'm on my own. As a black woman, when you make a certain amount of money, you are even lonelier than before you had the money because there are less black people as you rise to the top. And they don't really see you. They just see your money and then they think, well, you know, you should be better or you should be different from other black people. And they treat you some type of way. Her words they treat you some type of way so i'm lonely so i after attempting to make friends so she's basically saying this doesn't only stand for money it also stands for friends people she lost friend people she thought were her friends people who betrayed her and people she lost and then she says this right here stands for her family her mom her dad her brother 
She says, it's as they, them too, they pull me down. They drag me down. And her being unable to conceive naturally at the moment. And my ancestors are adding at the moment because she will have her ba a baby naturally. That's what we saw in the last reading. It is coming to her. But anyway, um, she says... Um, it was too much because she wanted her own person, her own child. So she said, I did what I had to do. So I'm going to ask her, how did you do? Okay, tell me about how. Tell me about how. You got a child. Today she is... She is her friend. Tell me about her. Tell me about the surrogate. Her surrogate lost a lot of money. Her surrogate came from a great deal of wealth and she lost it. She is half Arab, half black. Okay, and she lost a lot of money, and so when um, say so she came to her with the deal. See, there's a pregnancy right here. There's a pregnancy right here. She came to her with the deal, a pregnancy for money. Oh gosh. Okay, there's a pregnancy for money. This is the money. This is the pregnancy, and these are, you know, the protection. Like, she's greatly protected, but she came to her with the deal, you know, you know. I can, I, she's like 46 years old. She said, um, I can give you a baby. I mean, you know, I can carry it for you, right, since you can't. And then, something about, you can do the Beyonce thing. Right, and you know, I will never talk because they will never imagine that I live in the in the Arab territories over there, you know, UAE. Okay, they won't imagine that I live in the UAE. She is a very, very talkative lady. Okay, so this is Rihanna. This is her lawyer, Rihanna's lawyer. <laughs> And this is the security that they have put on this contract. You know, uh, mouth shut, be quiet, right? So, and this is the pregnancy. It is, it's a girl. Or the, the soul of it is a girl. And when I put my hand here, the, the soul of it says, by choice. She chose me. This is like the second time I've ever spoken to a soul. Okay. She says, by choice. So who's your dad? Aesop. Says she doesn't know him and she doesn't know Rihanna, but she will get to know them. This is the second time ever in my life I have spoken to a, an aunt or a not yet uh, in the physical soul. The first time was my bestie's son. She was pregnant and I, I, I actually was talking to him. And when he was born, it was exactly the things that he was saying to me. So this, this is really an important story. And I'm asking the soul because you're talking to me this is really an important story to the world why is that she says because because i'm new my body was engineered rihanna asked for the way i look like um i want her eyes to be like this i want i want um 
this to be like that. I want her to not have any weight problems. And she kind of engineered and I'm new. So I am a new product to the world. And I'm coming in and it's all going to be very interesting. In what way? Designer babies are making their way. In the end, people will be able to choose the race of their child. I'm the first. So tell me something physical that we can rely on that is going to happen. Asap and Rihanna are going to come out as if they've broken up. They were never together, but they will come out as if they have broken up. And and then he'll look like he, he's a drunk and he's having problems and she caused them. He will kind of do the Kanye thing she caused them. Rihanna, who I am not yet calling my mom, is never ever really going to sing the way she used to again. She's done. She will end up with some... See, that's what we got. She will end up with some white men, but not now. But she will. I will be raised by her and this white man. I will never really see ASAP as I am growing. He will lose interest and go back to his world. He's not making money. He is not a successful one. He wasn't meant to be successful. Yeah, I, we saw that. He just came from wealth, but he wasn't meant to be successful. And this was his attempt to gain more publicity, more notoriety, and it's not going to work in his favor. He will be forgotten in five to six years. Then what will he do? Business. Like his father. So I will not have a relationship with him after a certain age. Rihanna will have, there is like one more coming after this one. Yeah, one more girl coming as ordered by Rihanna. And then she will try for a boy the same way. But I don't, it may or may not work out. Now, please understand that we see souls. We don't see the physicality of a, of a, a soul. So don't come back to us and say, oh! but she had a boy or she had a girl i've explained this a thousand times but i feel that i should explain it again um a soul chooses its body it can be male or female right so sometimes it's a female soul that chooses to reside in a male body and sometimes you know it's the other way around so just letting you all know um hmm so, designer babies are finally making it into the world. Babies that are created by science in science labs. That's what you are saying. You are saying that you are just not an in vitro. You're just not. She says even bellies can be designed to inflate. Ha! Those are not prosthetics. Ha! She says no, they are not. There are doctors who do that. They can inflate bellies for you to look pregnant. And Beyonce used it. A lot of them have used it. Rihanna just did what they did. Thank you. Is she going to tell you that you, you were made, uh, you were designed special? When I'm seven, she will tell me. She will tell me. I'm not going to quite work out the way the scientists envisioned it. 
It all started with Blue Ivy. What about Blue Ivy? Well, her looks were not very pleasing. And it became a big deal to people. And so scientists said, why can't people just have the type of look that they want from their child? And that's, that's what has happened to me. I don't know if her skin will be dark or it's going to get dark or it's a beautiful. There's something about her skin, but she's not really showing me. She says, well, I don't know. I really don't know because a lot was changed. But part of the procedure that was done to this fetus or whatever, the egg or whatever, it had to do with skin tone and skin color. And a lot of work was put into that, like months of talking about it. Basically, her friend took the designed, you know, physical form of the person and carried it to full term but um it's really weird it's like it's like scientists are 